The following is an encore presentation of New Expressions. And welcome to Friday morning, where as usual, we're having our new segment, New Expressions. Yeah, conversations on... Conversations on Revival. That's right. So, um, as, as always, I have my guest here in lead of this whole thing, Craig. Thank you very much for coming in. Yeah, love coming in, Urban. We have such a great time Friday mornings. It's awesome here. And we've got another guest with us in the studio. Uh, pastor from Daybreak Church in Wyoming, uh, Pastor Marcus McDonald. Hey, hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, oh. <laughs> great like, here on yeah. some sort of thing so yeah excellent so give us a quick rough shot um on you and uh the church just a quick overview of you period overview of me yeah. okay you've been around the traps for thank a you while. very much for that yeah. okay. <laughs> he did i it. said quick he did a top <laughs> job didn't he yeah he's been around the traps that sums <laughs> it all up <laughs> <laughs> God, great. no i'm just kidding tell us about it oh, well, we just, yeah we've been around indigenous ministries that sort of thing church plants uh big churches small churches around the place and uh really just felt god laying on our heart to plant and pioneer a church in gosford we grew up in Gosford, we love the area, Central Coast, and we wanted to see Jesus make an impact. So we uh, we, were, we were surprised when we were called back to this region, but we loved the core, and um, obviously you know a bit of bit of time in Transformation Centre and around that sort of space as well. And um, yeah, so here we are. We're not quite two years old now in the church, not quite two years old. So. It's exciting times. We're seeing God do some great things. So you and the church, not the church itself. That's right. You and the church, two years old. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Okay. I'm still relatively years in, haven't really traveled that much because they won't let me out of here. But anyway, yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so where is it? It's in, uh, currently we meet in uh, Valley View Public School in Wyoming. Up the end of Chamberlain Road, so you turn up the gaps. Yeah, yeah. And we've just launched. We're about to launch our outreach, social outreach, global care, mm. food mm. bank, and that sort of thing for the community. Nice. Yeah. nice. I know that there are quite a few food banks here on the coast, but then again, I didn't know until I moved here that this was the largest concentrated place of, uh, of homeless individuals yeah. in New South Wales. Yeah, amen. So yeah. the more the merrier, man. Well, ten and a half thousand people in Wyoming alone. There's plenty of need to go around. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. What about the conversation with the was it PCYC that you had um, last week or so about you know what they need? Yeah. So we we made myself known for the first time down there. Um, so we went down, just introduced ourselves, said, look, we're moving to the area. Um, tell me your guy's story. What are you to? Um, so they just quickly shared the. Um, asked a little bit, a little, little bit about funding and that sort of thing, and um, then I asked, "What's your number one need? What do you guys need around here?" Um, and I hadn't yet told them what our heart was to to bring to the community first, and and he just looked at me and said, "Our biggest need is easily food. Mm. Um, the kids come, we feed the kids." And he said, "Even for this area, they're coming here to get food because they're, they're, you know, they're running short at home or or whatever." That so. I just sort of smiled and said, well, you wouldn't believe what's on our heart. We just want to come down and bless you guys, and I'm sure we can work something out. So it was just a massive work, a confirmation. Because you, when you step out in trust and when you step out and trust God, you often don't always have the confirmations that you'd like to have. So just to hear that, that it is an actual genuine need in the community that we're going to fill, um, it's encouraging for us. So, wow. Yeah. I, I'm always in awe of when people raise food for folks. I, I grew up in poverty free lunch program the, the free lunch program didn't exist in my neighborhood mm. during the summers we wouldn't have yeah, you yeah. know i had that bologna sandwich that orange and that and and mm. and, and that juice pop that was nice i yeah. remember that so <laughs> it was fresh too it was done well let's we'll see if we can get it ordered yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i'm uh, my heart's always there so but yeah. hats off to you so so how did how, how you find who did you find did you reach out to craig Craig knows everybody. He does. And when I say everybody, it's not hyperbole, man. He knows everybody. <laughs> no, you know what, Evan? It's time for a confession. I'm going to make this a public go. confession. Oh, I dear. Yeah, because I, I, I heard that exact sentiment just this week. Oh, Craig, he, he knows this person. This person. Actually, you know everybody, and uh, I figured out this is the confession that I know everyone because Marcus actually introduced me to everyone. <laughs> right. So he's actually the guy who went and knew everyone and then just plugged me in with that. Passed it on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. We used to have the privilege of working together at the Duralong Transformation Centre, mm. and working together was kind of one description. But we basically spent 24/7 ministering together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, as an opportunity to witness, yeah. to pray with, to minister, to mm -hmm. just see healing and deliverance and salvation you know mm. non-stop on tap and mm. and so we just grew a very close bond in that mm. and uh and in the process 
Marcus Hart to see the church in unity, which is why we're having this segment, really, mm. just to have a common conversation across the airwaves where, you know, whichever denomination of the church you belong to, you can you yeah. know, hear what God is doing and, and love on and celebrate what God is doing as well. Yeah. It, it, yes. You know, to, to link in with all the key senior pastors, ministers and whatever um, has been on your heart you know, you just done mm. it organically, and uh, and I've sort of been blessed to just to connect in with that too. We had so many churches at Durlong, um doing mm. worship with us or running our chapels and, and mm. ministering with yeah. us, and it's uh, it's kind of been an extension of that. Watching yeah. the bride play together, pray together, love together, it's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, new expressions, and um, there is a second bit to that, and I'm going to get that. What is the rest of that? New expressions, because you said it when you came here this morning. Uh, well, you know, the expressions coordinators of the Salvation Army, which is code, Evan, for revivalists on the Central Coast. <laughs> <laughs> and there ain't no revival without <laughs> unity and the bride praying. Mm. So we're just giving ourselves a moment. But yeah, this 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 segment, this is conversations on revival. Because mm. everywhere I go, and I've had the privilege of being all over the Central Coast, everywhere I go, I'm seeing the Spirit of God move with power. I'm seeing signs and wonders, evidences of the uh, kingdom come. I'm seeing healings, deliverances, and freedom. I mean, like yesterday we heard from Pastor Martin on air. He was in Mick's program yesterday morning talking about the incredible outpouring that's happening in India. Mm. And, uh, you know, and we're seeing so much of that now um, here on the coast. And so th this is that that time of conversation. Because yes. there's people in churches who are just going, is God moving still? Is, are people still being saved? Are people getting healed? Are people getting free? Yeah. And the reality is it's happening. It is happening. All yeah. Because we can get comfortable. On. We can. On. We can get yeah. comfortable in our own little thing yeah. and forget about the next man. Mm. I had to go on to um, Daybreak Church prayer meeting uh, a couple of weeks back, maybe a month ago, and uh, I just rang uh, Pastor Marcus said, listen, I want to um, come pray with you guys because I used to enjoy doing that when we were at Duralong. Mm. And, uh, you know, when's your prayer meeting on and, you know, what time, where, and got the answer. I sensed in my heart just an excitement. Oh, I'm going to get to pray with my buddy, and you know he'll have his church of people who are kind of passionate of the kingdom and wanting to see God move with power. And I was so excited, and I'm going, I reckon anyone else on the show necessarily knows about what I'm so excited about going to. Mm -hmm. You know, there's people all over the place on the coast who who may may have decided that night I'm going to drive home and watch some telly. Yeah. You know, or, or I'm just going to chill out and take it easy or, or you know, mm. and, and really do nothing and mm. really have nothing going on. Mm. And I thought, gee, if they knew what I was going to, exactly. they, they would want to be there, you mm. know. And, yeah. and I was thinking, and you know, there's a whole world on the Central Coast, you know, <laughs> people going, you know, actually I do have an illness, I do have some sickness in my body, I do need to go to somewhere I can get well. And, mm. you know, if, if you heard, if you're listening on air, you'd know, you know and so then I, that was the that sparked. We need to have this conversation on air. So yeah. it was literally driving to Marcus's church that sparked that idea in my head. Let's have this conversation on air. Yeah. Let's talk about what God's doing, where He's doing it, so people can plug in and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And uh, sounds and like a good idea. Yeah. I'm in favour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you should have been part of our text messaging this week because, um, you know, I just. Uh, Marcus again I said mate what what times your prayer meeting again give so I want to get there again and and see so text back and then and a whole bunch of stuff that the spirit of God <laughs> had been doing just that week you know and and so this week some of that stuff you know what 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 was in the text messages again oh some of the stuff so some of the stuff we saw yeah there was healings um because um, yeah. I guess our whole motivation for those prayer meetings um we come into this place um we, we try not to have an agenda what do we want to see accomplished what do we want to do and our inspiration is that be still and know that I am God God scripture. Yeah. So we really want to go with a, like a agenda. We want to get yeah. in that place and just really hear God's plan for yeah. this time. We yeah. really want to hear God's plan for this moment because yeah. in Wyoming, yeah, the, the struggles are really in our face a lot yeah. of the time. We look around our community, we understand that you know there's some needs. You know, the yeah. kingdom hasn't quite you know infiltrated some of these areas yet, yeah. and we want to see that. So. Yeah. God, what needs to happen? Because we've been having lots of programs, we've been doing lots of stuff in church, um, but I'm still seeing this need and, and this stuff going on in the community. So our, our motivation is to get there and say, God, we just we lay down our, you know, our motivations, our, what we want to happen. God, show us. Mm. Yeah. Show us how yeah. to reach these people. Yeah. Mm. Show us what to do. And in that place, well, lo and behold, he turns up and he, he yeah. is who he says he is. <laughs> and, um, and we see some great things happening, even just in our own lives. And once he does it in our, li in our own lives, we can overflow that to others. So, yeah, um, yeah we've seen uh, depression lift off people, um, sore backs get healed, like all this sort of stuff, yeah. yeah I like yeah. what you said there. You, the first thing you said was no agenda. 
Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and that's the biggest thing. Our way gets in the way of his way. Yeah. So and if we would get out of the way yeah. and let him come and follow his plan, yeah. we'd find out that his agenda is yeah. what we exactly need. Exactly come right. Exactly. And that's the key. Yeah. And, and it's difficult. That that's that's a subtle one. Yes. It is. Because yeah. sometimes we can get lost in that and doing it without actually knowing we're doing yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Especially if you've got a big church board. There's yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. That's right. I'm we're just saying <laughs> that sometimes, yeah. you know, I no think agendas said something then. get in the way. Yeah. 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 So no, I I actually agree with that. So yeah, yeah but it is it is a subtle yeah. little thing yeah, absolutely. that can just you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and that's the way it's going to be. Yeah. And then the plan is is laid out and it's like well hang on, mm. we should do it this way. Well, no, hang on. How about we pray about it and decide which way is better? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know before you actually put it in action. Exactly. It's nice right. to write the vision down. Yeah. yeah exactly. But you want to pray about it first, yeah. okay? And then yeah. make sure that you're spot on and that God approves of it. Then go. Yeah. So that's right. I've yeah. done that a long time. I've yeah. run way ahead. So I, 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 I get you on that one. Yeah. You're speaking to me this morning, too. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Another area. That's personal. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we hey, call it the engine room. It all comes from there. Yeah. Do you know what, though? The, the reality is, is across the coast, in fact, cro- across Australia, depression is a huge issue. Yes, it is. Huge issue. It is. And, you know, there's organizations dedicated to trying to help people and journey with people through that. And the reality is, is also that there are environments all over the coast. There are people filled with faith who are praying for people who've been diagnosed with depressive illness for Mm -hmm. years and literally as I loved the way you said it Marcus Mm -hmm. depression just came off it just (laughs) lifted off you know and here's you know this person now walking in freedom from that and and you know that that that's the norm of his kingdom if you like there's no agenda it's just the kingdom's agenda and that's the norm of what God actually has for people across the coast Mm -hmm. same with anxiety and stress Massive mm. story that people wrestle with in this in this context, and particularly on the coast. And the Lord actually wants them for, uh, to enjoy freedom from that. Yeah. Watch that stuff come off as well. Yeah. I love that there was a back healing as well. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, we we had in the prayer rooms on Tuesday night. There was a guy who had been suffering headaches constantly for several months, and also ringing in the ears. And the, mm. just an environment of faith. This is in the prayer rooms up in Wyong at Tugra. People just lay hands on him, and literally the headache left straight away mm. after months. And uh, and the ear is gone too, you know. And mm. so, you, I just want uh-huh. I, I want that people on the coast know friends. There's yeah. space, yeah. there's places where yeah. God is moving in mm. in powerful healing. You know, last last weekend, um, Liberty were hosting uh, Chad Deadman, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. That was nuts. You know, like uh, we were there Saturday night, Sunday night, yeah. and um and Saturday night, uh, you know, literally just after the worship, um, these Chad's getting these words about illness and stuff, and this woman with deaf girl, right? Yeah, wow, it was wow. brilliant. And then all weekend there was stuff where the spirit was doing things mm. and just want to honor Pastor Kim and Tim as well yeah. at, at Liberty because yeah. the Lord has just raised them up. They've got a significant history here as well oh, on the yeah, coast. Such a blessing, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Amazing. You know, a hotbed for revival. You know, that's mm. what Chad was speaking over their church, but that's the church in, in the Central Coast. Yes. You know? A revival center. Yeah. God's Don't, doing it. That's right. Don't think for one second that the ripple effect yeah. won't happen. It will. It's happening. It will. It's Don't happening. think for one second. You can't water like that and see nothing. Mm. <laughs> no, it's not just going to sink to the bottom. There's going to be some... Oh, some yeah. Yeah. Right across. Yeah. So, uh, on a side note, before we cut to a song, um, on chat, and we were talking about this yesterday. We had a buddy yesterday, for the, and uh, Leanne, the boss's wife, who was yeah, yes, his boss. <laughs> Somewhere she's cringing like, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are. Um, we were talking about um, Brian Johnson's message, uh, his first matches, message of the year. So Bethel TV, go and do yourself a favor and watch it. If you're going through anything at all, which you probably are if you're actually on fire for God, go listen to that. It's fabulous. Wow. Mm-hmm. She had um, listened to it. I had watched it. We didn't know. We started talking about it. And yeah, it is a message for this year. Go. I can't remember. <laughs> we oh, were I, talking about we, all sorts we were, of stuff. We were off talking air. about yes. the signs and wonders that That's are right. accompanying yeah. the gospel. Yeah, <laughs> like right now, where it's being spoken, where it's being preached, where people are praying, and where unity is happening. Mm. You know, I was just listening to your ad. There's the Derek Prince's prophetic guide to the end times. I went and bought that. I, I did huh? what they said. I got online. I, I ordered it, read it, and got, got a copy for a mate as well. It's great. Very, very helpful mm. book. Because um, God is speaking clearly through his word. He never contradicts his word. We love mm. what he's said in Scripture 
YouTube, but there's ongoing revelation happening, yeah. and God is speaking. And I know prophetically that God is speaking through Marcus, and and, and you know I've heard uh, prophetically from him many times before. Mm. Marcus, just let me put you on the spot. I mm. want to know what do you sense that the Lord is saying to us on the Central Coast at the moment? Um, what's he saying to us on the Central Coast? Oh, just to share one of the big yeah. things. Just just a side note, a little bit here, because I feel rotten if I didn't bring this up. In the prayer meeting, say, yeah, we love the big stuff. We love the big miracles, the healings and, the, and all that sort of stuff yeah. that's happening. But one of the biggest things that's happening is God is drawing people back to him, yeah. the revelation of who he is as daddy, as you know, loving yeah. father, all that sort of stuff. Yes. So in our prayer yes. meetings, one of the biggest miracles and the, one of the most powerful things that we're seeing is people making that connection back with God. Yeah. Um, and then out of that place, out of that relationship and that revelation, these bigger things are starting to happen. So, yeah. um, But for the word for, t for now, um, that God has placed it on my heart to share yeah. with our church, is dream big yeah. and I know that sounds fairly stereotypical but um, but dream big and and I sort of spent time with the Lord and thought what do you what's that mean dream big and it's he gave me the scripture out of Jeremiah 29 11 and it's for I know the thoughts that I think towards you says yeah. the Lord yeah. thoughts of peace yes. and not evil yes. to give you a future and a home as we just sat and unpacked, that's God's heart for us. That's God's yeah. heart for his kids and for us as the, as the bride. And we're going to see more of that as, as we walk in that revelation. That he, he means well towards us. Like he's going to give yeah. us a hope and a future. He's got these plans for us. Yeah. And this dream big. And, and I thought, what, what's that about dream big? And it's about vision. Because as we come in that place, that relationship with God, we get his vision for our life. Yeah. We get his vision for the community. And so often I see um, in the people we deal with and, and, in, and in ourselves that the conditions around us pull down our expectation, it pulls down our yeah. vision of how it is and what he can do yeah. in the things that we've seen. Just to dream our eyes back on how big God is. And I, on. on Sunday Come I talked on. about the God scale. Um, I labelled it the God scale because these mountains that we face, you know, we face these debts and these, and these issues in our lives. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, when it's just us, when it's us against these things, uh, when the mountain's too big, we get involved. He brings in the thing called the God scale and all of a sudden <laughs> the size of God just makes that mountain shrink, you know. Yeah. So, you know so we've got to get our vision. We've got to dream big we've got our yes. vision back on God mm -hmm. and we've got to bring that expectation up. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, as soon as we do that as a body in unity mm -hmm. um, and I'll just say each church, each church you know comes in unity gets that kingdom vision to yeah. see a change on this central yeah. coast yeah. Yeah. there's 21 degrees outside of us 32 in here come on. <laughs> <laughs> just got up. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. It's happening. So, mm -hmm. prayer meetings. Prayer meetings. Open yeah. for the public. Mate, we'd love to see God move in somewhere. Out there, yeah. what time, where, when? Wednesday, Maidens Brush Road. It's Shop 4 127 Maidens Brush Road. Mm -hmm. uh, there isn't signage there yet, but it's mm -hmm. in being made. So, it'll be Global Care. That's our little winter, as, we, as we've called it. So, 7 p.m. for coffee. We'll go off about 7.30 for the. Excellent. The they, they, all that, their website they can go to? Yeah, just jump site all that stuff so just jump on to face um onto daybreak church facebook and you'll see it all there daybreak church well, just look for the glory if you're driving around Wyoming, <laughs> just look for where there's a glory, the glory of god lots of prayer there's construction and going, going on here <laughs> Amen. I've got to get myself there. <laughs> and you know, Tuesday nights we're doing prayer nights um, open to public at the um, at the uh, um, the prayer rooms in Wyong and Tugger Strait there. Uh, and I know um, West Church, sort of the Spirit Church, is there on Monday. So you know, and and there's a, a space to come in and pray and hmm. be a part of that. Um, and we're interested in utilising the prayer rooms in Wyong, um, we're not charging. We you know we're just going. This is a space for the church there to pray is. and pray in unity. If you want to do some ministry with someone, if you want to book out a time for a worship night or, or prayer or so on you, you know, um, prayerrooms.com.au uh, and there's a calendar there that you can jump onto as well or contact me Craig at uh, what am I Craig.Stevens at aue.salvationarmy.org that's the one now last week and I don't have it here I'm going to have to put it up on this board right here it out. that's what it's for <laughs> need an extra screen there boss are you listening okay <laughs> hey look thanks for coming in Marcus Robert, man thank look, you for welcome me. back anytime at all thank seriously so and we want you to come back we want to what's right, happening around right there and yeah. I know when something happens if you don't remember Craig will yes. <laughs> he'll drag you in exactly, yeah. new expressions every Friday we'll be back here again uh, next Friday at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, tune in and see what's happening on the coast it's just it's a lot going on out there letting you know and there's a whole lot that you need to know you've been listening to an encore presentation of new expressions which can be heard live every Friday morning at 10 a.m. on 94.9 Rima Central Coast